Frank Bell was a Louisiana slave and was interviewed in the 1930s as part of the WPA Federal Writers Project. At that time, he was living in Madisonville, Texas. These are his words. I was owned by Johnson Bell and born in New Orleans, in Louisiana. According to the bill of sale, I'm 86 years old, and my master was a Frenchman and was real mean to me. He run saloon and kept bad women. I don't know nothing about my folks, if I even had any except mama. They done tell me she was a bad woman and a French Creole. I worked ground master salon, kept everything cleaned up after they'd have all-night drinking parties, men and women. I earned nickels to tip off where to go so they could sow wild oats. I buried the nickels under rocks. If master done caught me with money, he'd take it and beat me nearly to death. All I had to eat was old stuff. Those people left, all scraps what was left. One time some bad men come to Masters and gets in a shooting scrape, and they was two men killed. I sure did run, but Master caught me and made me take them men to the river and tie a weight on them so they'd sink and the law couldn't get them. The clothes I wore were some Masters old ones. They always had holes in them. Master, he stayed drunk nearly all time, and was mean to his slave. I'm the only one he had, and didn't cost him nothing. He have bill of sale made, cause the law say he done stole me when I was small child. Master kept me in chains sometimes. He shot several men. I didn't have no quarters, but stayed round the place and threw old sack down and lay there and sleep. I'm afraid to run, cause master say he'd hunt me and kill nigger. When I was about 17, I married a gal while master on drunk spell. Master, he run her off, and I slips off at night to see her, but he finds it out. He takes a big long knife and cuts her head plumb off, and ties a great heavy weight to her, and makes me throw her in the river. Then he puts me in chains, and every night he come give me a whipping for a long time. When war come, master swear he not gwine fight, but the Yankees, they capture New Orleans and throws master in a pen and guards him. He gets a chance and escapes. When war am over, he won't free me, says I'm valuable to him in his trade. He says, nigger, you supposed to be free, but I'll pay you a dollar a week, and if and you runs off, I'll kill you. So he makes me do like before the war, but gives me about a dollar a month stead week. He say I cost more than I'm worth, but he won't let me go. Times I don't know why I didn't die before. I growed up sleeping on the ground winter and summer, rain and snow, but not much snow there. Master helped me long years after the war. If anybody get after him, he say he tell them I stay because I want to stay. But told me if I left, he'd kill him another nigger. I stayed till he gets in a drunk brawl one night with men and women, and they gets to shooting and some killed. Master got killed. Then I'm left to live or die. So I wanders from place to place. I nearly starved to death for I leave New Orleans cause I couldn't think master am dead and I'm afraid. Finally, I gets up nerve to leave town and stays in the first night in a white man's barn. I never slept. Every time I hear something, I jumps up and master be standing there looking at me. But soon's I get up, he's leaves. Next night, I slept out in the hayfield, and Master, he gets right top of a tree and starts hollering at me. I never stays in this place. I gets gone from that place. I gets back to town fast as my legs carry me. Then I gets locked up in jail. I don't know what for, never did know. 
One of the men says to me to come with him and takes me to the woods and gives me an axe. I cut rails till I nearly falls, all with chain locked round feet, so I couldn't run off. He turns me loose and I wanders again. Never had a home. Works for men long enough to get 50, 60 cents. Then starts roaming again like a stray dog lack. After a long time, I married Feline Graham. Then I had a home and we had a white preacher marry us. We had one boy and he farms and I lived with him. I worked at sawmill and farms all my life, but never could make much money. You know, the nigger was wild till the white man made what he had out the nigger. He done educated them real smart. 